Today, we've got some exciting news for all Samsung fans out there. It looks like the Galaxy S23 Ultra is ahead of the curve already running One UI 7, Samsung's version of Android 15. This is big news, especially since most of us are still on Android 14. Let's dive into all the details. So, here's the scoop. While we've seen the Galaxy S24 Plus pop up on Geekbench with Android 15 recently, the real star of the show is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This device is already testing One UI 7 thanks to a well-known leaker, Teron Vats. He not only found the Galaxy S23 Ultra running Android 15, but also shared insights about the Galaxy S24 Plus performance on Geekbench. For context, the S24 Plus scored 2114 in the single-core test and 6616 in the multi-core test on Geekbench 6. The Galaxy S23 Ultra testing One UI 7 is a significant step forward. This US carrier lock version of the phone is giving us a sneak peek at what's to come. With Google announcing that Android 15 is now stable, Samsung has started testing it on their current devices. They are gearing up for a public beta testing phase through the One UI 7.0 beta program in the upcoming months. Samsung's strategy seems to be starting the One UI 7.0 beta program with the Galaxy S24 series and the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Following this, they'll likely extend the beta to Galaxy S23 users. Typically, after a couple of months of rigorous testing, Samsung rolls out the stable version of One UI 7 for their high-end phones in the Galaxy S and Galaxy Z series. For those rocking the Galaxy S23 Ultra, here's some good news. Once you get the One UI 7.0 update, you'll still have two more major Android OS updates coming your way. Samsung has committed to providing four major Android OS updates and five years of security updates for the Galaxy S23 series. This promise also extends to the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and the Galaxy Z Fold 5, so your device is set to stay updated and secure for a good while. Now, you're probably wondering when One UI 7.0 will officially drop. While we don't have an exact date, we can make an educated guess based on Samsung's past behavior. They typically release a new One UI version annually between October and December. This year, the Samsung Developer Conference SDC 2024 is slated for October 3, 2024 at the San Jose Statery Convention Center in California. At this developer-focused event, Samsung is likely to showcase all the new features of One UI 7.0 and might start the rollout to phones shortly after. Last year, they held SDC 2023 on October 5 and released One UI 6.0 later that month. If they follow a similar timeline this year, we could see One UI 7.0 hitting our devices soon after the conference. Samsung is not stopping with just a few phones. They have plans to update more than 50 Galaxy phones and tablets with One UI 7.0. This extensive list ensures that many Samsung users will get to enjoy the latest features and improvements brought by Android 15. Let's not forget Google's role in all this. They recently rolled out a new update for Android 15 called Beta 3 and declared that Android 15 is now stable. This stability is crucial as it means that One UI 7, which is based on Android 15, is nearing its public release for all compatible Galaxy smartphones and tablets. In summary, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is blazing the trail with One UI 7 on Android 15. With the stable version of Android 15 now available and Samsung gearing up for the One UI 7.0 beta program, exciting times are ahead for Samsung users. Keep an eye out for the Samsung Developer Conference on October 3, 2024 for more updates and the possible release of One UI 7.0. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. 
This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.